Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another match of my tournament. And in this clash we have the end of the Metro Square and off against Melonic Shenanigans. This could be quite a close match. Let's go on with it. And at first in the right corner for Endo we have the Neutraptor, the Blunder type. Well we've seen glimpses from it. Hasn't quite happened for Endo so far as the tournament. And we've got a win, because everyone in Pool C has won at least once. Anyway, backing up the Utrecht, we have Wamp the Cephalus. Revival type. Which means if it dies in a tie, it has to come back once. And we've all seen how well this Wamp the Cephalus has done. And it's more than hope held their own. But it's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, we have the Central Oros. Been quite a surprise package from the Lonic Shenanigans. It's doing better than maybe I expected. Tai Tai. I'm backing up the Decentral of us. We have the So Faganax. Quite an attack minded moveset from this So Faganax. Let's see who feel work for her. Oh, you have to get the first hit. Boosh. And the Crystal Crusher activates immediately. Oh, he's not going to get off because the U-Drop gets another hit off. A strong start from Ender. And the Rockless comes in with a support effect. Which complicates things for Melonic. The Sanjuro has finally gets a hit back, but the barrier is in effect. So the Uteractor will sustain little damage. Oh, but the Sanjuro gets off his own earth barrier. Oh, we have a tie. Oh, but the Sand Trap activates. So the Uteraptor's going to sustain more damage! <laughs> and I think that lowers its defense in a tie. But the Blender type effect from Uteraptor does come into play here. So the Sand Trap move is nullified. <laughs> oh, here comes a tie! Yeah, look, yeah, look at the damage from the Uteraptor. To the Utah, I should say. Oh, but the Sanctuaris gets a crucial hit and it will be able to swap as the Dino Illusion is triggered. So Baganax comes in. Oh, but so Baganax gets the hit. But remember that Dino Illusion is in effect, so the Utahraptor will sustain no damage. But the Uoplocephalus is going to get hit as, he, as Ender fails to get the swap out. Quite an interesting match so far. Oh, so Faganax taking out the Uteraptor, stopping Ender from swapping. And the Uoplocephalus will be hit once again. Good for Ender, but Melonic Shenanigans looking pretty strong after a shaky start. Oh, that's gonna help. Crit on the Soul Vaganax. Oh, that's up. The you know, the Sacklets. Gets another hit off. Gets a crit off. Impressive stuff from the Uoplocephalus. And so Fagax's health is in the red. Oh, and the Phil Fagax is taken out. Dispatched with ease by the Uoplocephalus. 
as it will get a free hit on the Decentralis as well. And now all of a sudden, I'd have to say Ender has stolen this match's memento. Both of these dinos have the same move set, but not the same amount of health. Oh, as the Sanjuros gets the hit. And Crystal Crusher is triggered. Oh, Crystal Crusher's gonna activate! Rock Persephone is getting off Crystal Crusher, which means the opponent's defense power will be lowered significantly. As the Sanjuros... Well, it's not gonna matter because itself is in the red, so it's gonna die to anything. Gets hit by. Can Ender finish him off? And he does! An impressive display from Rockocephalus as Ender takes the win. Well, I think that's put him right back in the mix. And I think it's opened up Cool C quite interestingly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this match. See you next time.